Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a calendar table within Power BI, which will be really helpful if you want to play around with the data, especially when you want to take a look at uh, months or by year week or by month week number. So let's get started. I'm going to teach you how to create that. I have a sample orders uh, table over here. So let's go to the uh, modeling tab and click on new table. So, and then I'm going to rename this table as dates. Okay, I'm going to type in is equals to. So when you, you need to type in calendar over here. When you type in calendar, there are, you get two options. One is your calendar uh, DAX formula and the other is calendar auto. So using the calendar here, let me open the calendar uh, DAX over here. So you get two options. You need to enter your start date and your end date, right? So you are manually entering the start date and end date. This is one of the formula and the other formula is your calendar auto, which basically will create the table automatically for you. However, with a condition that you need to enter your fiscal year end month. Let's say your fiscal year is from April to March. You need to enter March as your fiscal year month and close the bracket and press enter. Okay. So let's see what happens. Now I have a date table created over here. Let's go to the model and see uh, what happens, right? So I'm now here on the date. So I can see that uh, my date table here has begun from 4th or oh, sorry, 1st of April all the way up to 2015, 26, 12. Okay. So this has been created automatically. Okay. Now let's say if you want to add a new column and let's say you want uh, a month column. Okay. So how do you do that? Or let's say if you want a month, uh, month name, right? So let's say month name is equals to format. Okay. And my date over here and then comma followed by MMM. And I'm going to close the bracket and close the close the quote and close the bracket and press enter. You will see a month name column has been created. If you need full month, you need to just put another M over here and you will get the full month over here. Right. So and then if you need year, you can do that. But here what has happened is uh, Marco Russo has created a code here, which we will be using. I will link this in the description of the video. You can simply use this code. For example, let us just delete this particular table which we just created. Instead of manually creating this particular table, let us use uh, Mark's code over here. And then I'm going to go back to the new table. Okay. And I'm going to paste the code that we just copied. Okay. And let's change this to dates. Okay. And uh, this you need to enter your start date and your end date over here okay and press enter so the moment you do that a new table has been created called dates over here and let's go back to the uh, data set over here and uh, click on dates so we will now see that we have date column we have year we have month number we have month name we have year month number and we also have year month right so this one particular code has helped you create this particular entire calendar table over here. Okay. Now let us see if you click on month and bring in. Uh, so we need, we haven't created a relationship between these two tables. So let us quickly create that. Uh, so we will join the order date with the date column over here. Okay. So we can see that one too many relationship has been created. Let's go back to the data. So we now have the months column and let us bring in the sales and put this in a stacked column chart. Okay. So now we have, so you can see that there is a blank value that has created. So I just brought in the uh, order date to see why are there any blank values over here. If you notice when we created this table over here, we entered the date as 2016. However, we have all the dates all the way from 2014, right? One thing that we can do here is we can define the uh, date here within the DAX formula. Okay. For example, let us tell the DAX to what date to pick up from, right? What is your minimum date, right? 
So let us define a variable called min date. Okay, is equals to I need minimum of my order date. Ordered date. Where is it? Order date. Okay. I'm going to close the bracket. Okay, I need the minimum of my order date and I need another variable for max date. So I don't uh, go beyond the data of what we have. Okay, I'm going to type in max and uh, type in order date. Where is order date? Order date. Okay, now we have these two variables created. Now instead of using these dates over here, I am now simply going to say min date and then I'm going to say max date. Okay, I'm going to press enter. Okay, I think we just need to get rid of the uh, date function over here, which we missed to remove. Okay, and let's press enter now. Now we see that the blank columns have been removed. We have the data for all the dates that we have now. So if we go back to our data set now, okay, this is our data set. I have data all the way back from 2014 and until the max date only, which is 2016, 28th of September. That's the max date that we have in our model, right? So this is how you define uh, the uh, you, you create a calendar table within Power BI, create relationship and also define the minimum and maximum date so that your order or uh, your table does not exceed the date what you have in your data model. So I hope this video has helped you and you've learned something new. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.